Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is the Flightless Bird, this is your Soviet Gaming channel and today, continuing on here in chapter 3, we're about to go up here and uh, meet the royalty of the land. So let's go ahead and do it, shall we? I hope you all having a fantastic, wonderful day today. Oh my god, that is a dragon. It's so big. I I wonder if someday I will have to fight against that monster. Uh, sorry for my inactivity the past couple days. I've been really ill. I had a 99.5 degree fever earlier today, so... Uh, I have spent the whole day, like, resting and stuff. I'm going to try to do this late at night to see how it goes. We can manage fighting against humans. We can deal with animals in the forest, too. But that dragon is. Yeah, the dragon is something completely different, right? So that is the dragon, the species from the legend. How dreadful and will, ill will the creature. If the dragon comes again, the city will be in pandemonium. Then the knighthood will be deployed to maintain order. Then who will go to vanquish the dragon? What should we do? There are not enough people to vanquish the dragon. Well, it's looking for you. We got some, uh, dragon warriors here. Copyright infringement? <laughs> oh, hello. It's a random box back here. Fortunately, it's not really anything good. I mean, Angel's Prayer is meh. I, I kind of I kind of hate it when RPGs do that. Let's just put, like, random insignificant items in a box. And you're supposed to be happy that you found the item. And you're just like... But I could have easily got that anywhere. I mean, give me a new piece of equipment or something. The only thing we could do is protect the castle and city. Protect the castle and city, huh? I'm not sure if we could do that against the dragon. Presently, the head of the knighthood is taking about taking measures against uh, the dragon. Please be quiet. The meeting upstairs might decide the future of this country or the world. Uh, required a holy ankh. Okay. Is that what I was just complaining about? Is that an actual item? I have too much stuff. <laughs> I have way too much stuff. Yes, it is an actual item. Revise some death with a given probability. Now, a lot of games will have an item like this, except it breaks after usage. This doesn't say it'll break after use, so I wonder if this is actually a useful equipment. I mean, that's why I never use items like those, because they always break, and you're just like, well... I mean, yeah, it, it, it was useful for like one minute, and then it's no longer useful. A dragon, of course, is scary, but I have my work to deal with. Uh, forget about the past. I had to focus on my own work. Can you, like, move, please? Thank you. We are now pondering over this strategy against the dragon. Please come later. We have an important leading. Leave us alone. We cannot imagine where he will land. We don't even know if he can penetrate his scales. How can we devise a strategy? What should we do? Even if it is impossible, we still have to deal with it. Uh, we have to do it or he will be able to do anything he wants to the city. Yeah, I'm still looking for Stardust. <laughs> this is what I do. Uh, I guess the residents here really take care of the trees. A fireplace in the castle is completely different. A dragon. Oh, how dreadful. Divine tree, please save us. Man, people love to block me in this place. They keep moving to like the exact spot that I need to go to. How should we fight against the dragon? Is there any way to fight against the dragon? Did you see the dragon? 
I clearly saw it from this room. I saw it so sharply and clearly that I had to put that I've had my fill of it. Oh my god, how dreadful. What a dreadful creature it is. Uh, if that monster attacks us, there'll be nothing left of the city. Very similar to what happened with Celeste earlier in the game, most likely. Although probably even worse. Dragon may be able to do a lot more destruction than otherwise. What I'm telling you is that whatever that monster is with the force of the Holy Knights, nothing can stand against us. Wow, look at Miranda. She's got a great art style. She looks so cool. I want her on my party. She looks sort of like a uh, warrior uh, priestess monk kind of like thing. Have you ever seen the monster? According to the briefing by my men, it is bigger than a cloud and faster than horses. It's impossible for such a creature to exist. Where does your confidence come from? It is impossible for such a creature to exist. You idiot! Ooh. She's got feistiness. Thinking about the enemy based on mere assumptions. Are you going to expose your men to such danger? You are dismissed, Commander of the Knights. Yes, ma'am! I I'm so desperate looking for that 8th party member. I don't know why. No one's been able to confirm that in chat for me at all, and I love it. I love how I don't know, because I still think it could exist. Even though all the legends say there's seven Dragon Knights. It it's it's great. It's it's gonna be like the running thing th throughout the entire game. Then I'm gonna fight the final boss, and I'm gonna be like, Oh, I guess there was no 8th party member. <laughs> Calm down, Miranda. You are in front of guests. Luana, Seti, I'm glad to see you came back safe. You've never changed, Sister Miranda. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand the correct condition. Who are these people? I brought them in in order to save Melissa So from the intruder. You said to save. If we do not take action, it will attack us again, and next time, it might attack us directly. Do you know anything about the monster? It is the Divine Dragon, awakened from his long rest. No wonder he is so cranky. <laughs> the Divine Dragon? You are talking about that monster sealed in the Mountain of Mortal Dragon? Yes, the King of Dragons sealed in by ancient winglies. The Divine Dragon came back to life. Are you sure of that? Please relax, Miranda. You said you will save this country. Is it possible for us humans to defeat a dragon? Uh, we don't know yet. However, we might be able to stop it. What confidence you have? We are the Dragon Knights, who rule dragons, the Dragoons. There's nobody but us who could stand up to him. Wow, Dart seems so confident. It's it's so cool to watch. Embracing the legend. Are you saying that you are the heroes of the Dragon campaign, the Dragoons? I was surprised too. However, I don't see any falsehood in the heart. It means, may we request your help in vanquishing the Divine Dragon? You are free to ask. In either case, we had to meet him. But we have a fear to ask, your majesty. There is one thing we need in order to cast swords with the divine dragon. It is said that Wingley's made two weapons in ancient times to fight against dragons. One is a sword to kill dragons, namely the Dragon Buster. Well, that's gonna be hard. Because isn't the Dragon Buster currently owned by a man named Lloyd? I, I could have swore that was a thing. Maybe I'm... Not mem remembering correctly, but I could have swore he had the, the Dragon Buster. What? Like, how do you know about that, Rose? <laughs> I was there to her now. Oops, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Wait a second, isn't that the sword? Yes, it is. It's the sword that the bastard used to kill Lavitz. I'll never forget. 
Therefore, we have no choice but to count on the other weapon. What could that be? The Dragon Block Staff. As the name implies, it is a magic staff to block the power of a dragon. And where is the Dragon Block Staff? I was going to ask you. Actually, it seems that one of us knew about it. Meru? <laughs> uh, uh, what are you talking about? Do you know about it? Please tell us for the sake of this country. Why are you hesitating? Like, okay, okay, I'll tell you guys, alright? I, I think it's in the Forest of Wingleys. The Forest of Wingleys? What the heck is that? Um, it's in the northern part of the Evergreen Forest. Remember when that guy was blocking that area? That's probably where it is. If so, are you saying that Wingley still live? Uh-huh. It seems that the myth of fairies in the Evergreen Forest area was true. Wait, Theresa. I'm heading to the Forest of Wingley's with these people in order to borrow the Dragon Black Staff. Aw, look at Meru. She's like so upset now. She feels like she betrayed her people. Are you coming too? Of course. The palms are too big to just leave it to you. Besides, I want to see how far you dragons can go. If you really have the power as described in the legend. I beg you people, please save Mele Sisu from the Divine Dragon. Now we are heading to the Forest of Wingleys. No time for procrastination. So is she gonna join me? Does that be cool? Come on, join my party. Be a part of the fam. Please wait. I don't see Shana. Where did she go? What timing? Let's go look for her. We have no time to waste. Are you a part of my party? Are you a part of my party? Are you a part of my party? No! She's not. Oh. You lost your friend? No, I haven't seen her. What's up with Shauna? Why is she hesitating? We haven't seen her. There's no way your girl can be upstairs here. Well, where did she go? I saw the girl for a moment, but she went back to the chamber of the queen. Yeah, that's what I thought she did. Is there anything wrong with the lady? She ran out to the chamber of the signet without saying a word. Is that to the right? Yeah, it's how the stairs. The lady with you went to the chamber of the signet. I wonder if she feel sick. She was stumbling. Well, I, I mean... Oh, Miss Shana, she went to the chamber of the signet. I mean, she's really sick. I can fully understand her right about now. I hope I'm not coming off as sounding sick in this video. Shana, Shana, are you are you all right? Where where am I? When did I come here? Do you not know? What happened? I don't know, but that took me. What did? Hmm. Miranda, what is this room for? The castle used to be a foot for Wigglies. I heard that this room used to be a chamber for a ceremony to seal something. But it was more than 10,000 years ago. Really? Well, 11,000 years ago was a dragon war. Isn't it the reason the Divine Dragon made a raid on the Crystal Palace? In other words, he is trying to work off his hatred against Wingleys. Why did you come here alone? Were you called again? Like the time with the Varage? No, it was different this time. 
I woke up and I was here. I feel hot. It's gone, my... Uh, what's happening to your dragon spirit? Oh, uh, what? What's this? I cannot manage it anymore. I don't feel the power of the white silver dragon. What the heck just happened? You, you're a dragoon too? Me? Dragoon spirits manipulate fate. Hmm. I can no longer. Shauna! What the heck is going on? Hey, what's going on? What is this stone? It, it looks like this the, the stone transferred from Shauna to to Miranda. I see. I passed out. Are you all right? Yes, but I don't think I can go with you anymore. There is nothing you can do in your condition. I knew it. From the day I looked at the moon in Fernie, I was sure this would happen to me. We will be back as soon as we defeat the Divine Dragon. So wait for me till then. Like, lighten up? Uh, I will occur it for you, Shana. Congo 2. It won't be long. Dart will be back with you soon, Shana. Don't worry. I'm accustomed to waiting. But thanks, everyone. So wait, did Miranda just replace Shauna? Miranda. Please take care of the rest. You find Miranda. I know. Yeah, I think Miranda just replaced Shauna. She did! Alright, game. When I said that there was an 8th character, I didn't mean that the 8th character would replace the 7th character. I meant there's an 8th dragon stone out there somewhere, and the 8th character would have that 8th dragon spirit. I don't want to replace Shauna! Come on, game! What the heck? Man, this sucks. I like Shauna. Now, the question is, I'm going to keep the party the way it is. Because I need to look at Miranda before we do anything else. Because I have a feeling that what Miranda did is what uh, Albert did with Lavitz. And that is basically just replaced Shauna in all her other things. So if we look at stats here, and we go to Miranda, uh, she does have the same spells. Which makes sense because it's the same Dragoon Stone, so she would have the same spells, right? Although, she does have Bemusing Arrow equipped, which means she basically is just a copy and paste of Shauna without additions. Oh, that sucks. I, I was hoping that Miranda would actually have additions now, because maybe that's why Shauna didn't have any additions, because she would leave the party, and then Miranda would start getting them, but she doesn't. And that's unfortunate, because in the long-term scale of things, if Congo is at Dragon Level 2 with additions, and Meru is at Dragon Level 2 with additions, and Miranda is at Dragon Level 3 without additions, it means I'm not going to be using Miranda right now. Because these characters are more critical uh, to development. Yeah, now I'm... Ah, that sucks. Uh, we got a new character, but it's not a new character. It's just a replacement of an old character. And again, you look at the Dragon Stones. Hold on a second. Look at the Dragon Stones. Look at those Dragon Stones. You see how the red Dragon Stone is all the way to the left where the DS is? And it clearly looks like there's an open spot to the right of the brown Dragon Stone. So I'm telling you, it just seemed like there was going to be an 8th Dragon Stone. And it just... Ah. Well, that sucks. 
I mean, I was hoping Miranda would come with, with me, but not at the expense of Shauna. Careful what you wish for, right? All the Zeds. We'll be back, Shauna. We'll be back. Now, I guess the real question is, why could she not have the power of the stone anymore? What caused her not to have that power? You know? Sorry, I just wanted to stop to think if this is the party I want to use. I think it is, right? I mean, Rose is a little behind. Hashel's a little behind. Uh, Meru, I really, really like. And she has probably one of the best Dragoon abilities. Uh, Kongle and Albert. I, I think Albert's better overall, but I would like to see Kongle improve some more. And Rose is a level 3. So really, I could sub out Kongle for Hashel here. But I don't think I'm going to do. I, I think I'm going to use Kongo a little bit more. And then I'll probably use Hashel in the uh, in the area after in the next area. Because Kongo is fun to use. I like Kongo. Kongo big and strong and smash thing with ox. Yes, Kongo. You do. And you do it very well. Thank you. I, I, I just say Kongo is fun to use. I mean, it's just this just big giant character, you know? So maybe now we can finally, finally head to that area which was blocked off before. A lot of people like Meru and I can see why. She's very fast, she can be very strong, and she has an amazing Dragoon ability. Which is an AoE heal, which is very important because Dragoon forms don't let you use items. So having a character can AoE heal while Dragoon form is essential to survival. So I I, I really think that developing uh, Meru is a very good idea long term. And I miss. You know you can always blame that on your illness, Lightus, but no, I can't. I I just completely yes. missed. Completely and <laughs> totally missed. Ah, crud. Now the good news is, uh, something I did find out by someone is, watch this. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I, I thought he was charmed. Uh, when you're charmed, if you kill the enemy that charms you, you break out a charm. But Dart still seems to be in a funky state. And I don't know why Dart is in that funky state. It looks weird. Like, what what just happened to him? Alright, quick uh, heal. I didn't take that much damage in this fight, but... Dang! Flightless! Dude! Like... What's your deal, yo? It's a simple addition! Come on, get it right! Now, Kongo is a character I don't see myself using that much either. Ooh, a dragon level up. Magic... Uh, cool. And the reason I say that is because once he gets his addition... Master the problem is I don't have another addition. He's de-spirited. Okay, so there is something wrong with you. I just Not sure what that does uh, But Kongo here He only has three additions and I'm pretty sure that they're ones locked off by mastering the first two So once I master this first edition, uh, he's basically gonna be out of my party for a while And I know I love Kongo and I said I love Kongo, but that's just the simple map uh Hmm, let's see here. I could have also gone Dragon Form to heal that. It may not have been a bad idea, but it's fine. Sister Miranda, there has been no new movement taken on by the Master of the Mat Dragon Tomb. I see. If anything happens, for the Crystal Palace immediately. Yes, ma'am. Let's focus on our mission to the Force of Wingleys. There's no way we can win without the Dragon Block Staff. 
I thought that was the way to the Force of Winglies. I guess not. Uh, maybe there's one of these back entrances? No, it wouldn't be here. Let's run all the way up just to check. Okay, there is another room like this. Uh, where... Where we found, uh, the wolf friend. So maybe we gotta go back that way. Okay, instantly I know I should hit this guy first because he just moves. It's unlikely for him to move again before Congo strikes. Because Congo does have that speed ring, so he's not super slow. And then again, the game could just be like, screw you, Flightless Bird. Okay, but here's the thing. Because she's charmed. Really, game? Really? Really? Oh, I hate missing. And because of that, we took 230 damage that we should now have taken. Because you can see there, the confusion breaks. At the same time, as one less addition, I could have done there. She's powering up, but I'm gonna shut him down in a second. Man, what is with me in additions today? I'm just, I, I'm just not firing on all cylinders like I should be. Okay, Mara got hurt really bad. So I should really try to heal Mara here. Kind of slow, so I'm gonna have you use defend. And just like that, she's all healed up. Much better. Yes. Go. <laughs> Hero. Wow. That power up thing it did really made this guy tanky. Come on, flightless. Now, I'm thinking about putting Miranda in the party, just so we could see her transformation. And that way I could use it as a thumbnail. I know that sounds weird, but... But, I'm thinking of doing it. Although then again, we could probably find a good thumbnail in the, uh, the Force of the Winglies or something like that. Well, it'd be kind of cool if I could tell this episode of Miranda. Oh, then again, it could be a spoiler. And I don't like spoilers. In my thumbnails and in my titles. Calling Miranda is not a spoiler, but... Having her use the White Dragon Stone might just be one. for one encounter. See how she does. Yeah, now that I think about it, if, if I have her transforming, it would be really, really weird.
Cannot move and confuse. He's not having a good day. I wonder if she has the same stats. But she seems to be really fast. But is she really fast because uh, Shana was fast? Or is she just really fast because she's fast? But more importantly, I got her one Dragoon level. Diamond does do magic. Oh, fantastic. So I got her uh, at least one Dragoon level. So if I put her in my party and I'm about to fight a boss, uh, she she won't... You know, I should probably keep her in my party just to level up her, her Dragoon energy. That's not a bad idea. Nothing is worse than when you go to fight a boss and you switch out your party and you realize that was a mistake. Yep, this is the area. A dead end. Here we are at the entrance to the Forest of Wingleys. Like, ah, uh, maybe I'll be kicked out again. Where's the entrance? I see nothing. There is a magical boundary here? Wingleys have locked themselves in the forest. It's a dragon companion. How come they didn't live with humans? Well, you know about the dragon campaign? It is a war that humans who obtained the power of the dragoons started in order to liberate themselves from the control of winglies. Some winglies are still angry about that. Besides, winglies have a power that humans don't have. The ancestor told me that the power draws a line between humans and us. Meru, are you? Yep, I'm a wingly. Oh. Are you surprised? I really shouldn't be. Like, we should have realized that all of her social awkwardness was probably because she's not human. I mean, it, it makes a whole lot more sense when you when you recontextualize it like this. Yeah. But I was surprised. I was shocked. Why did you tell us? Like, would you believe me? Would you consider me as a friend if I told you guys? Well, we have a giant in a party uh, who tried to kill us multiple times, and he's our friend, so why not? It doesn't matter. Meru is Meru. Hey! That's exactly what I just said. Meru is Meru, right? Hey, I love when the protagonist and I are on the same page. I've seen other games say that, too. They'll say, you know, the character's name is the character's name, and I like it when they say that. Now let's go see the winglies. Now we are dealing with serious stuff. Ooh, is there gonna be conflict here though? I wonder what would happen to us if the dra uh, divine dragon came to this forest. Probably I'll be screwed. Yeah, I, I think you all probably would be like really, really screwed. Just, just saying. I would fight it with our magic, but probably would fail given our current level of power. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. But the ancestors said that we won't become extinct if we cooperate with other species. Other species? Are you talking about humans? That's right, but I wonder if everyone in the forest can understand that, including me. The seal. Meru! The humans! Meru, why are humans here? I'm going to let the ancestor know. Don't shoot, they are my friends. We are not here to fight. We are here to borrow the Dragon Block Staff. The Dragon Block Staff? Meru, how dare you speak about our secret to them? But the Divine Dragon is now awake? Well, but what can humans do if they cannot even use magic? Well, I can use magic. Should we break through? Uh, no, we should not. 
We have to take some action or everything may be destroyed. That includes the forest of wingless in human cities. Everyone, hold on. The ancestor says he will meet with the humans. You, please don't ag agitate the people in the forest. We are not used to seeing humans. But watch out for the Bardell brothers. Uh, what do you mean? Let's go, Dart. The, an the ancestor Blano was at the back of the forest. Alright, uh, because he said that, I don't know if this is a completely safe place. So I'm going to replace a Miranda now with uh, Hatchel. Well, I'm placed with Hatchel. Yeah, he's the furthest behind. Uh, and if we are about to fight a boss, if we're about to fight a boss, then he could use the experience most. I'm gonna give him the attack badge. It's kind of amazing that he hasn't got to level three yet. He must be close. I mean, if Meru just hit level three. Cool. It's a shame none of our characters react to that. I would like someone to say, hey, that was cool, you know, as you go to teleport somewhere. So you are the humans. This is the first time I've seen one. Humans and winglies, their appearance is almost the same. This horse does not welcome humans. Some even have murderous attentions towards humans, like the Bardell brothers. Because of the Bardell brothers, and particularly the younger one. It's an order of the ancestor. I'll carry you to the back. Um, no, thank you. Not right now. Should I save? I mean, save point is here for a reason. Rotate them saves. All right, let's go. Probably had to fight the Bardell brothers in order to prove myself. They are the beds of winglies. They have funny shapes. It seems that the way they spend their lives is not that different from humans. The walls between species are thicker than you would think, but maybe you could destroy them. I feel that way. Uh, there are those who hate humans, but please ignore them. We respect the attention of the ancestor. The ancestor trusts you. We trust you too. The ancestor trusts you. We will trust you too. Once again, I am trapped. Ah! This game loves to trap me before uh, between NBCs. I want to go that way yet. Did not want to go that way. I want to explore the rest of that area. Oh, okay. Well, now I know what that uh that exits for. Up here. Father, mother, I'm home. Mary, do you realize what you're doing? So they have they are the humans who have deluded you. Don't talk bad about my friends. Meru. I I'm still me? I want to protect everybody in the forest in my own way. With Dart and friends. The ancestors have believed in Meru and is alarming the humans to pass through here. You have to believe in Meru too. Humans over there. The dragon is supposed to be your ally. Winglies and humans are enemies. Why are you trying to defeat the dragon with us? The dragon campaign has been over for more than 10,000 years. Besides, there's no reason for our two species to fight each other, is there? Honey, our ideas may be too old. Please take care of Meru. 
I, you don't need to say such a thing. I'm the one taking care of them. Oh, Mary is taking care of. Yep. Who? Dart and everybody. I assume there is no time for this. He is right, Meru. Let's get going to the ancestors. Okay, you are right. Your father talks harshly to you, but actually he's happy to see your face. Besides, he likes Dart and friends. Don't be yapping about silly things to so just go see the ancestor. Okay, I will. Your mother is right. Seeing you makes me feel relieved. You are living your own way. Of course. I am your only daughter, father. I think a lot. <laughs> Bye now. Wait, what was that? In this forest, we transform the life power trees into magic power. This ray is the magic power. My bed is on left side. It's pretty comfortable. I was expecting Mary to break off here. Your father wants you to come home with Mary all the time. All the dots. No matter how much of a failure she is, she is still our daughter. Wow. There is no other place for Mary to come home to. Father, stop it. <laughs> I love Mary. She's so great. Oh, you look happy. Later, Gator. Without using the stone, you cannot use magic or fly. Humans are such weaklings. More humans are trying to vanquish the divine dragon. Well, it's an interesting joke. Locked is always right. I'm a bit miffled. I'm a bit miffed about giving our magic items to the barbaric humans, but it's an order from the ancestor. Oh well. I really don't want to give the magic items to the humans. Uh, we sell rare stuff. Okay, let's see how rare your rare stuff is. Um, not too rare. <laughs> really? I mean, I don't think this is too rare. I'm gonna buy a mind purified so we go back to two there. I mean, these items just aren't very rare, dude. I mean, you really are thinking, like, in the past. However, a weapon shop maybe have some good stuff. Warhammer plus five attack. I will take that. A magic ring that raises magic attack power by 30. That's pretty incredible. I think I'll buy one of those. I'm not going to equip it. A magic defense bow. We'll buy one of these as well. Uh, increases escape weight from magical attack. Ah, I'd rather just have pure defense. Now, why did I buy these? Because in the future, having someone like Congo or Albert, maybe having more magic defense is more important than speed. Having the magic ring. Now, we know how much damage Dark can do with his spell. Uh, the final burst. So, giving him this can amplify that magic attack on a boss. Uh, you could also give the uh, magic ring to someone like... To someone like, um... Meru. Or a Kongol. Probably not Kongol, but still. Seems like there's more stuff up here. Meru, I, I knew it. You're coming back to me. Huh? You are humans. So, you are the friends of Meru? Well, that's right. This is Kuhaha, a friend of mine. You said I'm just your friend? Um, we go up together? You are my fiance! Oh, wow. I didn't know you had a uh, fiance, Meru. Hmm, there is more to you than I thought, Meru. Wow, what are you talking about? It's true, isn't it? <laughs> Look at her animations. I thought she was still a kid. Hmm. It must be true that the winglets have a long life, and they are not as young as they look. What are you analyzing me for? What kind of relationship do you have with Meru? Relationship? We're just friends. 
Her, at first, she insisted on following us. Is that so? We have no time to talk about that. Huaha, why are you coping yourself up in here? There are awful things going on outside. As the ancestor told us, the divine dragon has come back to life, hasn't it? Why aren't you defending the forest? The other day I let you in the forest, Mero. I'm on probation now. Of course, I would defend the forest if I could. Like, whatever. We are going to see the ancestor. You just stay here and be gloomy. Mero, you have changed. You can be changed too if you go outside, Godaha. I. There is a commandment for us, Winglies. We cannot do what you want. Us to do, Meru. Yes, you can. Huh. Hey, we found a Sardos, finally. It's an interesting shaped shell. Are you still cooping yourself up in here? I there is a commandment for Swinglies. Okay. So I'm gonna repeat that. Whatever. Let's get going, Dart. Just get whisked. Exit. Stage left. <laughs> Let me show you some cool stuff. Whoa. What is this? It's the Archangel. It's the Guardian God of the Winglies. The ancestor told me. You say told me, but don't you worship it too, Mero? I don't know. I never been protected. Maybe I just don't know, though. Okay, end of tour. You want to look at it again? I want to see if I can interact with it. Nope, I cannot. What's interesting is, in order for her to open it up, she has to use her wingly, like, power. Okay, right side this time. You cannot use magic, you cannot even fly. It must be very inconvenient, isn't it? I have such a poor speech that humans are not being able to use magic. The room upstairs is for recovering your health. Please feel free to use it. It's an order from the ancestor. If you want to hear wood, stand in the center of the room upstairs. Linus, she is not a wingling from this forest. It seems there are a place other than the forest for winglings to live. Hmm. Linus, a wingling who we don't know. I thought we were the last of the winglings. We are not the last of the winglings. Yeah. Oh, found a new Stardust! And I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Bardell, are you bothering us again? Elder Bardell, the Divine Dragon can be taking care of us by, without asking humans for help. Besides, we have no business talking to a betrayer who ran off to humans. What happened to you? The battle I knew was much kinder. It wasn't like that. My baby sister was killed by a human. Oh no. My baby sister was influenced by you, Meru, and left the forest. Believing that the outside world was wonderful. We don't need humans' help. Do you, do you have something else to say? Get out! There might be more people killed now. Good for you. It's a good chance to learn how helpless you humans are. But we winglings won't die. Our magic power surpasses the dragons. You are strong, huh? Don't make me laugh. I wonder if you have noticed you are declining because you cling to the glory of the past. 
What are you talking about? You can barely fly, and that's about it, right? Maybe you won't think that way after this. Nice transformation there. Huh? No way. Is this the legendary dragoon? Please let us take care of the divine dragon. It was about this time that he knew he messed up. <laughs> I'll come back to you take care of your baby sister's matter after my journey has ended. Uh, so please trust us for now. The ones who flaunt their power disappear when the truly powerful appear. I am going ahead. If we cannot even have revenge for our baby sister anymore, the Divine Dragon cannot be... I feel weak on my knees. I cannot move. Is this real? Ah! You went, brother? How dare you! How dare you, humans? Just because you are afraid of our magic power? You are sending the destroyers of old dragoons at us? Silly humans. I'll pass sentence for the cynic killing my sister. I'll annihilate them now. I heard from the ancestor. Do you want me to carry you up to the upper level? No. Yes, please. There is nobody here. Where is the ancestor? My body is being healed. Is this the magical healing? I wonder if it is apology for the discourtesy. Ancestor, I'm sorry we are late. Welcome, humans in Giganto. I am Lano, the ancestor of the forest. I am the first sister, sacred sister, and minister Simananda. Please forgive our sudden visit. I would like you to listen to our story. The divine dragon is. I know. The divine dragon came back to life in the mountain of the mortal dragon. And there are dragoons that have come to us. Seems that the times won't leave us alone. The messenger from the Crystal Palace and the people who were fated to come here. Our opponent is so enormous we have to combine each of our strengths, or none of us will survive. Neither the Crystal Palace nor our forest. You mean... Let us put the power of the dragoons and our wisdom together. You will let us borrow your dragon black staff? We don't have the Dragon Buster now, so Dragon Block Staff is our last resort. We no longer have the power to master that. However, if you, who rule the dragons, can use it, we can fight against the Divine Dragon. I appreciate your kindness. However, we cannot participate in the battle. We are all that remain. We cannot become extinct. Well, I'm going. I know, you are a dragon too, Meru. Uh, go inside, I will show you the way to Dragon Block Stair. Is this gonna be a dungeon? Like we have to navigate? I'll meet you there, Meru. You are attracted to those humans. Yep. Like, they are really cool, Ancestor. I wanna go on the journey with them. And I want to see my mother and father anytime that I want. Are you telling me to throw our commitments away? It's not the right time yet. But eventually, in the near future, the time will come when us and humans live together. Go with them. As a wingly, go see humans, or better yet, the entire world. Your experience will lead us. Okay, I hear ya. 
I I'll meet you there. Emiru is the one leading us to the outer world. Where are those humans leading the world to? It must be the flow of time. Only the fates can tell. This place is cool. The dragon block staff is sealed in the forbidden land over there. Forbidden land? It is the place where a hideous memory sleeps. It used to be until 11,000 years ago a place with winglings. It was a place where eternal prosperity was promised. It was called the world capital, Kadesa. Now it is a mere ruin without a name. Are you sure? Is it okay to go in? It is fine. Everything is in the past. I see. We have to do what we can now. Are you ready? Uh, please wait a little. Uh, what's wrong? We don't know when the Divine Dragon will come. I feel some monster over there. There is still some magic power left. And it attracts monsters. It won't be an easy road to the Dragon Block staff. When you are ready, come to me. I'll lead you to Forbidden Land. In reality, I just wanted to search around here first. I thought this was a Dragon Block land, but this is the elevator, isn't it? Yes, it is. So I want to search this room first. I'm assuming if you go right, it'll teleport you down a level. So I don't think we need to go right because it's kind of obvious where that takes us. So let's head back up to the left. And I want to go up to that moon platform before I go anywhere else. Look at the moon. I feel like Obi-Wan Kenobi right now. That's no moon. I mean, look at that thing. Like, that doesn't look like any moon I know. Uh, yes, we are. Are we going to the moon? This is the wisdom of the winglies? It's a ruin of the wisdom. Let's go. We're heading to the moon, you guys. So this is a forbidden land. The ruins of past glory. No remnant to the royal capital remains. What's wrong, Mary? You're shaking. Cause I, I hear the outcries of the people who died here. Are you going to wait in the forest, Meru? No, I'm okay. If I can't get past such a small thing, how will I be able to fight against the Vine Dragon? Well said. I think? I think this may be a, uh... Yep. I think this may be a good stopping point. We're in a dungeon. We're about to, uh, press on here. And I somehow made it through the entire video. I hope there wasn't a lot of stuff in the video. If so, I do apologize. I, I tried, I had my button next to the mute button. I was seeing the mute button constantly throughout this video. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope everything came out okay. Uh, but for now, my dear friends, I love you all so very much. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And I'll see you next time on The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. 
feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.